guys. So QYC contacted me and said, Kev, do you want to have a little play with an underwater drone submarine thing? So I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? So they sent me this, the Fifi Fish version six. Now I was expecting kind of like a toy, but <clears throat> this thing is heavy. And I think it's actually a proper bit of kit. Let's have a look. So this is the Fee Fish version six underwater robot. And if we have a little look around the side, here's some specifications. I'm not gonna fully bore you with all this techno babble. So I'm gonna put a link down below. Have a look on their website and you can get all the stuff. But cut a long story short, it's got a 4K camera, super bright LEDs, a 100 meter depth rating, four and a half hours of diving time, slow motion, depth holding, blah, 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 blah. Let's just crack it open and have a look. Now I'm gonna be a little bit more careful than usual unboxing this one because it looks like a proper bit of equipment. A quick start guide. And guys, this actually looks like a proper piece of kit. All right, <laughs> let's get it out. Guys, check this thing out. By the looks of it, you get everything that you need to use this in the box. So it comes with this 100 metre spool. So the, this um, robot, drone, submarine, whatever you want to call it, it connects to this cord. And then you've got 100 metre depth that you can go with. The reason it's linked up by a cord and not by the radio controlled is that radio controlled signal doesn't really work underwater. I found that out when I tried to drive some of these underwater. They kind of... You get about that far underwater and they cut out. So if you want to go 100 meters down, which this thing can do, uh, then as far as I know, this is really the only way that you can do it. So you get the controller, you get these kind of box goggles, like FPV goggles, uh, but you do have to put a phone or something inside there. I'm going to figure that out in a minute, how you do all that. I haven't really played with it yet. Uh, a cord here that I think links that to that. Uh, some chargers. So I'm going to read the instructions. I'm going to and then get you guys back on once I know what I'm doing because I'm completely new to this. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, I'm completely new to it and I'm going to take you guys along on the journey uh, and just see if we can have some fun and see what this thing can do. Oh yeah, subscribe. All right, so so far, super easy. I'm just installing the app. You just scan the QR code. That's now installing on my phone. So next, we've got to plug in the drone, and I've already done that. So we've got this lead here plugged into there, and you've got to tether it onto there so you're not pulling the plug out. And then the other end here plugs into the controller. So now I'm going to wait for this app to install, and then we're going to go on to the next step. All right, so I've just followed the instructions, turned on the radio, and now it is powered up. And guys, those... Those lights at the front, they are blindingly bright. So next we need to go into the app and boom, there we go, there's to view. So we can record, we can take photos, we can do a load of other stuff. And to start it up, you hit this button here. And now that has started up all of these motors. Then I'm guessing it's gonna be the same to control this thing as it would be a drone. Oh look, I just found out it's actually got 60 gigabytes, or probably 64 gigabytes, of internal storage too. So to charge it all up, it comes with a charger that you plug into the controller, and it comes with another charger here that connects into the back of the drone. You undo this thing here, plug that in, and that's going to charge it up. And apparently, it takes only one hour to charge, and four and a half hours of actual diving. And guys, I don't want to sound like I'm overly bigging this up, but this definitely doesn't really look like a toy it really does look like a premium piece of kit and that's probably reflected in the price i mean just looking at the build quality of everything i mean i can't really fault it everything i mean it's got a lot of weight to it i mean the whole thing the whole setup just looks really high quality and guys i'm not just saying that because i got it for free it does actually really look like a piece of quality kit so next have a little montage <laughs> So yeah, guys, it comes with absolutely everything you need uh, to go diving. The only thing you do need to supply yourself 
is a cell phone, either Android or Apple. And you can also take this phone out of here and put it into these goggles here. Now, the goggles are optional, and so is this spool. Uh, but if you have a look on the link up down below in the website, then you'll be able to see what different options you can get for this thing. So I will be taking this underwater drone out at some point to testing it out. Probably we're going to go over to the seaside somewhere, and we're going to try out some different locations and have some fun with it. But for now, I haven't got anywhere to test it. Uh, so I'm going to put a few little video clips up on here that the company sent me uh, so you can kind of see this thing in action. And then we're going to take this thing out for ourselves in a different videos. So enjoy the footage. If you want to know more info about this thing and you want to know where you can get it from and you want to know any more techno babble, I'm going to put links to all of that lot down below. So if you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe, bell button, and I'll see you over in one of these other videos in a minute.